I'm Cameron, and this is the documenting of the nutrition of school lunches. Community and its impacts. The nutrition of lunches is affecting students, kindergarten through 12th grade in our community, who go to schools that provide school lunches. So all of the schools within our area, because of the California mandate to provide school free school breakfast and lunches. We need to solve this problem because it affects the health of all kids within the community. Students are still growing throughout their high school years and need the proper nutrition to ensure that they can properly grow, stay focused, and do well in outside activities. Unhealthy lunches lead to problems like fatigue, lack of focus, vitamin deficiencies, obesity, diabetes, increased risk factors for a stroke, or even certain types of cancer. Additionally, at school, students around me tend to have a lack of energy, and I've come to realize that it could be because of these school lunches. These issues can be caused by things such as processed food and preservatives in food without the proper nutrition, but instead full of empty calories, not enough amino acids, vitamins and minerals, proteins, healthy fats, and more. Evidence of negative impacts. One of the more popular chosen breakfast items provided every day was called cinnamon toasters. As shown in the ingredients, they contain TBHQ, which according to the National Library of Medicine, is found to cause liver enlargement, neurotoxic effects, convulsions, and paralysis in laboratory animals. If this is occurring in laboratory animals, why would the effects in humans be any different? Another preservative used is BHT, which the National Library of Medicine has found liver and kidney effects and BHT applied to the skin was associated with toxic effects in lung tissue. This is not only this not only has harmful preservatives but is also composed of 38% of sugar, which is 19 grams. It is said that women should only contain 25 grams of sugar a day and for men 36 grams, leading to over half of the sugar already contained by the first meal of the day. There's also a lack of protein, with only 3 grams and 0.8% of one's body weight is suggested for daily protein intake, so this lack does not aid in students' health and for their overall activity in the day. Additionally, there's a large lack of vitamins, and a lot of these things like protein are artificially added, so they're not even coming in naturally. Interview with student. These are some of the questions that I asked a student that got school lunches every single day of, of the school year when they used to pack their lunch mostly, as shown. And additionally, they talked about how there wasn't a lot of choosing of fresh produce and they didn't know much about the nutrition facts of these lunches. Some of the key points of this interview showed how throughout this particular how, though this particular student did not have time to eat, did have time to eat, he observed many students feeling rushed to eat and not finishing their food. Additionally, there was a large lack of students taking fruits and other produce, choosing the more appealing options. While the students loves the idea of free food being provided, he can see how his energy levels could de be depleting because of getting school breakfasts and lunches every single day. What I find most important is the lack of knowledge on things like preservatives and the lack of nutrition within the food that the schools provide, especially since some of these ingredients and food can lead to such detrimental effects.